So, today we are preparing this Tux Flux, Tux Smart. Uh, the bolt and belt is squeaking and it also did a little clanking noise. So we try to change the belt and also the tension arm. So, now I told you which tools you need for changing tension off. Maybe arco drill with a T20 Tux. T20 screwdriver for the bent when T25 screwdriver a T8 for the electric plug some pencil to mark the position of the screws then some glue to glue the vein back on calipers if you have but it also works without then you need a spanner 10 11 12, 17, 22, a punch tool, Allen key 8, 5 and 4, a file, maybe some nuts with the same auto diameter as the bearing, this one is a 22, and a 12 or a 13 for the lock washer, some grease, and the hammer. That's all we need to change the tension arm. So then let's start. First step is to remove the cassette with free hook. Then flip it over and remove the lower leg with the allen key, 8 mm. So, flip it over. I mark the position of the long screws in the housing. It's very impossible to mark the screws because a long screw in a hole for a flat one can damage the flux. Then 
remove both sides of the housings. So when you remove the housing, I could show you how to measure which bolt size you need. The bolt is in this position, you can see it a little bit. So if you have calipers, just measure the diameter of the bolt. This is a 10. If you don't have calipers, use spanners. Try a 10 or 11. And 12 which fits best this is the size this is a 10 so this is how to measure which bolt size you need I always need the bolt size so that I could send the right part to you so if you want to order a part you just have to mount now the free hub therefore clean it a little bit put some new grease on it Just mount the cassette with the free hub and you can use your flux meanwhile till you get the part without the housing, without any problem. Next step is to remove the belt. Then remove the bushing from the free hub. Remove the flywheel, alloy flywheel. So. Then we remove the lower leg, the small one. Therefore we need Torx T20. The next step we're going to dismount as much so that we can glue back on the bent van. So remove the lower leg, just those four screws, four screws. Then use the T8 and remove just one screw on the metal flywheel side. One is enough. Done. So then again with the T20. If you can see here, a little more light. There are two screws here and here. You have to remove.
flip it over and we use a Allen key for millimeter to remove the cover from the metal flywheel. So, now you can also check if every magnet is okay, they are positioned with dot, non dot, dot, non dot and so on. So if you one time put a long screw in a wrong hole, sometimes these magnets get damaged, they fall down. Then you have to remove with the T20 the screws. The screws. And if you then you can put out the metal plate with the magnets on and then if there's a dent just use a hammer and knock it out and stick back on the magnets but in the right dot non dot then it's, you can repair this also so now we remove and use on one side Allen key, spanner 22 on this side. Open the screw, and there's a, a treat inside this, inside the flywheel. Here is a treat. So, the easiest way is to use a hammer. Made like this. So then I push the axle inside and just turn the flywheel because inside there's a speed sensor. If you did it wrong, maybe you broke your speed sensor. Will and we will stick the vein back on. Therefore, use T25. And remove the screws. Maybe mark before the position of the vein so you will know where to put all the glue. So, I put some glue on it, and now I mount the vein again.
So if you want to just repair the bent van, that's all you have to do. So flip it just over and let the glue dry and then mount everything in the other direction. If you want to see how I change the tension arm, stay here and you will see it. So let's go on with changing the tension arm. So I also, here is the position of the speed sensor. If your flux shows no speed, it's often that the speed sensor is broken. You can order them in internet, so no problem. So next step is to remove the ground cable. mark the position so it's easier for mounting So the next step is to remove the pulley, therefore we need the punch tool and the hammer. Remove the lock washer and the washer. and there's also a washer behind, a bashing behind. Remove the bolt and then the bolt outside. smaller one so then you can remove just hang out the spring and then you can remove the tension arm So,
Then we start counting the new one. Just always try if it, it fits as it should. Therefore put it inside. Put in the spring. So, and then I use the short bolt. And then I always have a look if it moves freely. So if it goes a little strange, I have a look inside where it's touching. And so I remove it again. So, and there, if you can see, two little wings, and I remove a little material where I can see the mark. Also, sometimes maybe on this side. Check again if it fits. Now it moves freely and comes completely big in the back in the position. So I remove it again and use a little grease on the tension arm and also a little bit for the bolt. Then we mount the plate again. Be careful with the speed sensor.
don't forget to the screw for the grounding. with the speed sensor. So then let's mount the plate with the magnets, be careful. Then we mount the screw for the plug, electric plug. Get around the two long screws. in the lower leg. Four screws. Always turn a little bit and listen. Silent. So then we put the alloy flywheel back on. Therefore, clean the axle a little bit. 
put some new grease on it. Don't forget the uh, bushing. And then we can put the new belt on it. So after we put on the new belt, we have to mount the housing. So now it's it's important that you mark the position for the long and the short short screws. So I first mount the long ones. the longs on left and right from the leg on this side and one up here these are the three long ones for this side Now we can put on the second side. And we also Start with the long screws, also left and right.
now this was the last long screw and all around this are just short ones So also on this side just short ones left. Mount the lower leg. The big one. Then clean the free hub and put some new grease on it. Don't forget here's the bushing, it's already mounted, the black one. and the cap so. and put the screw back on That's all, and now it's time for a test ride. I hope it works as it should. This one is now silent as new. <laughs>